Welcome back to PC Builder, I'm Jason. This is our October Best Builds video and man, we've got insane sales coming up with both Amazon Prime Day as well as early Black Friday sales. It's a great time to build a gaming PC. We're already seeing some insane discounts on GPUs, on motherboards, on other components out there and we'll add in some great modern deals as well. We'll start off with an $800 1440p insane gaming value build. We'll go to a 240Hz 1440p build for just $1,200 and we'll get our max 1440p or 4K gaming destroyer for $1,750 taking advantage of all the best deals. Remember, if you get value out of this video, please give it a like as it makes a huge difference to the channel and subscribe for more cool PC content. With that, let's jump into it. This video is sponsored by VIP SCD Key. Say goodbye to crazy expensive Windows licenses and that terrible activate Windows watermark. Right now, use the links in the video description, head over to VIP SCD Key and get a Windows 10 or 11 OEM license for a great price. Pick your product license, then use the PC Builder discount code PC25 for an additional 25% off. Go to the activation settings on your PC, put in the code and boom, Windows is fully licensed for a crazy low price. And Windows 10 can be upgraded for free to Windows 11. And they have Microsoft Office licenses too. Use the links in the video description. Let's jump into that $800 1440p insane value gaming PC build. And let me tell you, not only are you gonna get close to 100 FPS across all titles, including very hard to run single player titles at 1440p ultra details, but you're gonna get insane frame rates if you're gonna do competitive shooters at competitive settings as well. And I just think this is so much value right now, especially given the fact that what you're seeing right here, it's before any of the sales. It's before Amazon Prime Day, before any of the early Black Friday sales, New Egg Fantastic, all that kind of stuff. So I expect you will be able to build this gaming PC probably considerably cheaper than what I've got here. This is like a worst case scenario. Let's start off where else the GPU. And honestly, you're gonna get a great value right now because not only is this GPU on insane sale, even before Prime Day and any of the other things, 349 right now for an RX 7700 XT 12 gigabyte, but I wanna mention that right now, if you buy an RX 7600 XT or higher GPU, including the one that we're looking at, or a Ryzen 7 AM5 CPU or higher, you will get two free games, including Warhammer 40K Space Marine 2, super well reviewed, everyone's talking about this game, and then Unknown 9 Awakening, and that hasn't launched at the time I'm filming, it launches in about a week and a half from now. But you get two free games, it's basically, if you look at the Steam value of these right now, it's about $110 value, totally insane. Now, why is AMD doing that? They wanna liquidate all of these graphics cards because they are launching mid-range graphics cards first first in the new year. And so everything's got to go here. So that's why you're seeing these insane deals right now. 349 for the Power Color Fighter RX 7700 XT, 12 gigs of VRAM. And this is the three fan model and it's got that nice beefy cooler on it. Overall, great model here. Let's take a look at how much FPS you can expect out of this. And I'll give you some alternatives out there. Maybe if you can't find a deal on this one or you want to get something a little cheaper, you can. If you want to build an even cheaper gaming PC build, check out our best budget gaming PC build 2024 video. I'll link it down in the video description. We go through some much cheaper builds under the, under the $800 price point. But for $800, the one I would pick, RX 7700 XT, look at that. 92 average FPS, 79 on the 1% lows. And this is TechSpot's Radeon RX 7600 XT review. So relatively recent data out there. And the 12 games that they use in this, mostly single player, harder to run titles, stuff that really hammers your GPU. So if you play easier to run titles, if you play CS2, you're just gonna get insane amounts of frames out there. If you do wanna go down a little bit, the RX 7600 XT, 67 average FPS. Again, I wouldn't necessarily do it, although I will expect some huge discounts on that right now it's about $310. The RTX 3060 kind of if if you need just like a $250 GPU out there 58 average FPS, but honestly, for not that much more, I would pick up that 7700 XT and just destroy everything on this chart. For the rest of the build, we're just looking for a CPU here that's not gonna substantially bottleneck our Ryzen 7700 XT GPU. I went with the Ryzen 5 5600. You certainly could go with like an AM5 build, like a Ryzen 7600. Just know it's like another $180 and it might kind of knock you up into a much higher price point if you do that. That's why I went with the Ryzen 5 5600. 5600X often goes on sale as well around Prime Day. Sometimes it's even cheaper. They're basically the same CPU, so don't really fret which one you get. Right now, this is 125. 
I expect it to come back to that $110 price point. And the great news is that either the 5600 or 5600X comes with the included Ray Stealth Cooler, which is all you need to get started. And that's what we're gonna go with here in order to hit that $800 price point. If you want, you can of course spend $20 to get an aftermarket, even an RGB, super nice cooler. I'll leave a couple links down in the video description for you to check out. Remember, we are gonna turn on Precision Boost Overdrive on the Ryzen 5600 to basically turn it into a 5600X. I, in terms of the motherboard, I'm going with a B550 motherboard here. We definitely want PCIe Gen 4, AMD and NVIDIA on the lower end graphics cards or cutting down the GPU connector. Too much for me these days to recommend PCIe Gen 3 any longer for, especially for a GPU of this class here. We wanna go with something with PCI Gen 4 on it. So there's tons of boards, anywhere from like 90 up to $110. I just randomly picked the MSI B550M Pro VDH Wi-Fi up because it has Wi-Fi on it as well. It also has this nice reinforced GPU slot. Some of these GPUs are nice, big and beefy. And if they don't have this metal reinforcement, they kind of sag a little bit. $89 right now for a pretty good value motherboard with pretty decent rear USB connections two thumbs up. For the RAM, remember, we want to go with 32 gigs of RAM, and all we need is DDR4 3200CL16. The reason we're going with 32 gigs of RAM now, there are a couple, or a handful, I should say, of titles out there, brand new AAA titles that micro stutter occasionally, occasionally with only 16 gigs of RAM. So we're gonna go with 32 gigs here, kind of alleviate that. It only costs about another 15 or $20 over that. If you wanna get RGB, I'd opted not to get RGB here. It's like another 15 or $20 on top of this. You certainly could go with a different kit and I'll leave an RGB kit link down in the video description. For the drive, we're just going super basic here. One terabyte NVMe M.2 drive, about 50, Five up to about $60 is what you're looking to spend on just a budget drive. Doesn't really matter, PCI Gen 3, PCI Gen 4, it's all the same, you don't get any additional gaming performance. This is one area, if you need to save a little bit of money, you could go obviously with a 500 gigabyte drive here but you only really save about 15 or $16. So I went with a one terabyte. For the case, you've got tons of great options. Check out our best PC case 2024 video for even more. I went with the Aqua 3 here. I love this case by Okinos. It's amazing. It is a negative airflow case. That being said, if you want, you can flip the two fans on top. You can flip around and make them intake instead. Overall, great looking case. It looks insane. We use this for our recent Ryzen 7600X build guide video. And let me tell you, it's super compact. It's got a great footprint on it. If you're looking for something for like a small space or you just like super compact, cool looking, powerful gaming PCs, pick up this case for just $59. For the power supply, we need about 600-ish watts here. I went with the MAG MSI uh, A650BM. This is a 650 watt unit. Note that if you're gonna go AM5, some of those motherboards want two of the EPS connectors. That's the top left of the motherboard. This one only has one. Not a big deal, you typically only need one anyway, but I love this power supply. It's got nice sleeve cables on it. It looks super nice and it's C tier rated on the PSU Cultus list for about $69. All told for $793.35. Remember, that's a worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, you could easily get this a lot cheaper. You are gonna get a super powerful gaming PC capable of playing all titles near 100 FPS, even the harder to run single player titles at ultra details and and for those competitive shooters, you're gonna get tons and tons more frames. So this is a pretty insane build to pick up on Prime Day. Let's jump in the best budget 1440p gaming monitors right now. And honestly, my two top picks are the ASRock Phantom PG27Q15R2A, say that five times fast, $159 right now. $159 for a 1440p 27 inch, 165 hertz refresh rate monitor. How is that even possible? How is that even possible? And this thing's phenomenal. The reason it's possible is because ASRock, they're still trying to break into the gaming monitor scene. They're not a well-known name in gaming monitor circles. So they're selling these things at an insane discount, $159. It is curved, it's VA, it's a very good VA panel. It doesn't have a lot of black uh, smearing on it like some VAs do. I would pick this up if you absolutely need the cheapest thing and you want super good quality. If you're looking for flat IPS, not that much more, like $25 more basically, the ASRock has their second generation of gaming monitors now out. This is a great monitor. This is a PG27QFT to a 180 hertz flat IPS. Great colors on it, great response times to it. 
I mean, $184. And I also expect some big sales on these. These are primarily over at Newegg. Let me give you some other alternatives out there if you don't have those monitors in your market. The Acer Nitro 27 inch XV272U and the XV271U are great, great alternatives out there. The XV271U is actually slightly less bright than the 272U, so you can decide which one. Now, Amazon often cuts these down to like a stupidly good price during Amazon Prime Day. Right now, $199 over at Amazon. Let's jump into that $1,200, 240 hertz, 1440p gaming PC build because this thing is gonna absolutely smoke anything out there for just $1,200. You can honestly build it a little bit cheaper if you want. I finished out $1,182.68. And that's before Prime Day. That's before the early Black Friday sales. I believe that all the stuff you're looking at here, including stuff like the CPU, which I think is artificially inflated before the sales right now, is gonna go way, way cheaper, way, way cheaper. But let's jump into what else, the GPU. And before we get to the exact models, I just wanna mention, Nvidia also has a game bundle. I know I mentioned that AMD one in the last build, Star Wars Outlaws right now. It only runs through the day after Prime Day, basically the 10th, uh, October 10th. It's a, I think it's $70 value if you look at Ubisoft's website, which is where you have to buy it directly from. And as a quick reminder, with all the RX 7000 series GPUs, except the 7600 non-XT, you get this. You get the Space Marine 2 game and you get Unknown 9 Awakening, $110 value if you add up what the Steam value is. Now the GPU I end up going with is the RX 7900G RE 16 gigabyte for $529 right now, but, 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 I do expect some serious discounts on this over Prime Day. So this is probably gonna be significantly cheaper, probably starting on actually the day before Prime Day during Newegg's fantastic sale. They'll probably put this on sale, or if not this model, they'll put another model on sale because they gotta liquidate these things. AMD is introducing mid-range GPUs, not high-end GPUs in the next generation. Remember their high-end stuff didn't work, so they canceled it. And that means they're gonna basically have to liquidate the entire 7000 series lineup before January of next year, I expect this is gonna be super cheap and it comes with the two free games, $110 value, two thumbs up there. If you're looking for something a little bit cheaper, honestly, right now, the RX 7800 XT, also with 16 gigs of VRAM, by the way, for 449, what is going on? That's an insane value. And it may even get cheaper around Prime Day and all the other sales. Again, they have to liquidate these GPUs. These are great performers out there. And we'll go over the performance in just a moment. Your NVIDIA options here are a little rough. Honestly, it's really like the RTX 4070 Super. I found one model here, PNY model of $573. Otherwise, they're all very, very close to the MSRP of 599. Honestly, I don't expect a lot of discounts because there's really no 5070 in the works anytime soon. I think NVIDIA is just gonna keep grinding all that money out of you, 12 gigs of VRAM. But if you need NVIDIA, this is probably your best option. So what kind of FPS performance can you expect? Well, this is the Tech Power Ups RX 7900 GRE review. I'll leave it linked down in the video description along with the other benchmarks as well. They found that it gets 119 average or 120 average FPS across about 23 different games. 23 game uh, benchmark at 1440p ultra details. And this does include mostly single player titles, although there are some competitive shooters in here, but they're at ultra settings. They're not at, at competitive settings. So you're gonna get tons and tons more frames at competitive settings, easily 240 hertz on most titles out there at those kind of more basic competitive settings. In terms of the 7800 XT, not that far off, 109 average FPS, pretty big discount for that. Or, or you could look at the RTX 4070 Super, not that far off from the 7900 GRE. It's basically 118, it's two FPS difference basically. The difference here to me, 16 gigs of VRAM versus 12 gigs of VRAM. I'd probably go with the 16 gigs of VRAM. I went through all this in much more detail in our best GPUs for October. I'll leave that link down in the video description if you want a deeper dive into this. Let's jump through the rest of the build. I went with the Ryzen 5 7600. You could also go with the 7600X here. They've jacked the price up ahead of the sales. Now they do this on some items like the 7600, 7600X, just ahead of the sales. So that when they cut it back to the price that I expect it to be like $180 where it was previously, they can say, oh, it's a big sale. It's been selling regularly at $180 for quite some time. I think that's probably where they're continuing to sell it because nobody's buying the Ryzen 9000 series CPUs because frankly, they're just terrible, terrible values. And I would not buy Ryzen 9000 right now unless they have serious price cuts around this because the 7600 really gives you everything that you're gonna need for this build. And unfortunately, we'll talk about the 7800X3D later, really hard to find right now. So this is a great option to get you in the AM5 
And the nice thing about that is in the future, you're gonna drop in a, a 9800X 3D, uh, 1100X 3D, whatever they call Zen 6X 3D in here. And it's super easy to cool as well. You could go with the included stock cooler with the Ryzen 7600, but we definitely wanna turn on precision boost overdrive on the CPU, so we are gonna get, spoiler alert, an aftermarket cooler. But for about 180 to 200 dollars, again, just get the cheaper between the 7600X and the 7700, insane performance. For the cooler, there are just tons of budget tower air coolers we could use here. If you want to go with a liquid cooling solution, you certainly can. There's some great ones by Thermalright out there that we're going to use in our next build. <laughs> Spoiler alert. But I just went really basic here with the id cooling SE214 XT. This is the black version. It also comes in white. It also comes in non-RGB. $18. Again, just get a four heat pipe budget tower air cooler. And that's really all you need for the Ryzen 7600. This one's 18 bucks. You have a lot of options when it comes to AM5 motherboards here. You could certainly go with a micro ATX setup similar to the last build that we did and go with that smaller case. I decided to go full size ATX here. I know some people don't like a full size ATX case with a micro ATX motherboard. So I picked out a great value, a full size ATX motherboard right now. It's $169 with a $20 promo code. It makes it $149 for the MSI B650 Gaming Plus Wi-Fi. This is really a great motherboard. It's got good rear panel USB connectivity to it, tons and tons of fast ports. It's got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on it. It just has basic audio, but so do most boards in this category right here. And it's $149, two M.2s on it, great VRMs, perfectly adequate in the future for something like a, a 7800X3, 9800X3, whatever you want to upgrade to later, and doesn't break the bank. For the RAM, you just want DDR5, 6000, CL30. There really is no other answer for AM5 than DDR5, 6000, CL30 right now. I went with a non-RGB kit because they have come down in price quite a bit. They had almost been the same price as the RGB kits, but they've come down about 15 or so dollars to $85. So I went with this silicon power kit. They have, there's an RGB version of this for like 10, $15 more. I'll leave both styles of kits linked down in the video description and you can pick whichever one you like the best. For the driver, again, I just went budget NVMe SSD, one terabyte. You can really do anything you want here. I would just say don't overspend if you're primarily gaming. Primarily gaming because you don't see the gaming benefit even going to PCI Gen 4, although Gen 4 drives are generally as cheap as Gen 3 drives, so I'm not gonna make a big deal there. Just don't get anything Gen 5, you just don't need it. And for $53 for one terabyte, that's a great deal. For the case, I went with a Montec XR. This is an insane value PC case for $64. What? What? And it's super premium. We use this in our Ryzen 9600X build guide. I absolutely love the case. It comes in black, comes in white, looks incredible. These fans here, while they look like they're exhaust, they're actually reverse blade. So that way you get the cool RGB and it actually intakes air in the front. This is your exhaust here. It was super easy to mount a 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler on the top, which is what we went with there. If you want to go with AIO here, otherwise the air cooler is great as well. You could throw some additional fans up there, but it's her $64. It just blows my mind how you can get this much value. For the power supply, I decided to go A tier rated here, $82 right now for the Pure Power 12M 750 watt unit to it. If you go the NVIDIA route on your GPU, it also comes with a 12 volt high power uh, connector for the GPU as well. So two thumbs up there and it's just $83. PSUs are one area where we do see some often fire sales on some units. Right now, even before the sale, this unit's really well priced. So for $1,182, you are gonna get an insanely performant and amazing looking gaming PC build. Amazing looking gaming PC build. And I will say here, if you wanna go cheaper, even down to the RX 7700 XT 12 gigabyte, you certainly could. You get the two free games with our setup here, or you get the other free game as long as you act by uh, October 10th out there with the NVIDIA GPU. And it's really got everything that you need to get you started playing 240 hertz, 1440p. Let's jump to some great value 1440p, either kind of higher end gaming monitors in terms of LCD or 240 hertz. 240 hertz. Let's start off with a great monitor, especially if you're into some HDR out there. This monitor is amazing. This is the AOC Q27G3XMN. We've highly recommended it. It's been out of stock for a long time, but it's finally back in stock at 279, which is its MSRP. Now this is a curved VA monitor but it's a super high quality curved VA monitor and it's got really good local dimming zones for some HDR. It's not as good as OLED obviously, but 279, that's a very, very small price to pay for a phenomenal monitor. So if you're looking for something to scale up just a little bit from those budget 1440p gaming monitors, this is the one I would pick. 
If instead you're going for 240 hertz, so you want maximum refresh rate and you're looking for something still kind of cheap, the AOC CQ27G3Z has been my top pick. $279, it's been that price for quite a while. It's quite a bit cheaper than some of the flat IPS panels, although I expect those flat IPS panels probably go on sale. We'll go over those in just a second. So this is a 1000 hour curvature on it. It's a VA panel. It's very reminiscent of the older Samsung uh, Odyssey G7, 1440p, 240 Hz monitor out there. It's got great motion handling on it. Really not anything bad to say about this monitor for $279. For those of you looking for a flat IPS, there are like five or six different ones that are honestly almost identical in terms of their performance. And I, as I keep telling you, just get the cheapest one. Right now, the cheapest one, I will continue to list the cheapest one down in the video description, even if they offer deals during Prime Day. So check out those links down in the video description. But the MSI G274 QPX, this is a great 1440p, 240 hertz game monitor, great response time on it. Not really sure what else to say about it other than right now it's the cheapest. This is the one I would get. Let's jump into that $1,750 insane 1440p gaming PC or honestly 4K gaming destroyer. This is easily going to be able to game at 4K. I game on this GPU that you're about to see at 4K all the time and I have a great experience here. And my system is even weaker than the one that we're going to take a look at here because of the insane value. I finished out at $1,739 and 21 cents. And I will say, I think you're gonna be able to pick up a number of these components a lot cheaper, but one of them, you might have to really chase down. We'll talk about that one in just a moment. Before we jump into the GPU, I just wanna quickly remind us the NVIDIA game bundle with RTX 4000 series GPUs, it's RTX 4070 or higher, by the way, expires on October 10th and you get Star Wars Outlaws, a $70 value. And then on the AMD side, they're offering two game bundles, anything with an RX 7600 XT or higher GPU or a Ryzen 7, AM5 CPU, CPU, you get both the Warhammer 40K Space Marine 2 game, which is just an insane game, and you get Unknown 9 Awakening, which hasn't launched at the time that I'm filming this right now, $110 value if you add it up on Steam. So in the build you're looking at here, I went with the RX 7900 XT 20 gigabyte GPU for 649, what, 649, that is insane. If you want the white one, it's like $30 more. But I will say again, AMD has to liquidate all these high-end GPUs. It's possible that these things will even go cheaper. I'm not, I mean, for 649, I'll probably just go ahead and pick this one up right now and get myself gaming. And of course, it's only $50 more than most of the RTX 4070 Supers out there. In fact, it's the same price as some of the RTX 4070 Supers, which is crazy. If you want to go up in terms of performance, 849 right now for the Power Caller Hellhound RX 7900 XTX, 24 gigabyte GPU, and again, Prime Day discounts haven't even started yet as I'm filming this. We haven't seen any of the early Black Friday stuff just yet. This is crazy, crazy discounts right now. And again, AMD's gotta liquidate these GPUs. This, it could get even crazier with the sales and the game bundle that they're offering does go through November 2nd. Your NVIDIA options here are the RTX 4070 Ti Super. I can really only find one model below the MSRP right now. That's Zotac Trinity, which is actually a pretty good, pretty well-reviewed card. $789 does have 16 gigs of VRAM. If you really into ray tracing, this is probably the one that I would gravitate to. And of course, if you want to go up to the RTX 4080 Super or 4080, they have the same performance levels. We'll just check performance in just a moment. Unfortunately, they've discontinued these cars and we're already seeing, we're already seeing the stock limitations right now. I can't find anything under basically $1,000. $999 is the cheapest card out there and I think it's just going to get worse. But how much FPS can we expect from our build? We're looking at the text box. RTX 480 Super Review, so relatively recent data out there. And we're looking at 1440p again, 12 game average. These are harder to run single player titles at ultra details. We'll also look at 4K in just a second. So if you're missing the 7900 GRE in here, that's roughly where the RX 6950 XT is. Just for reference, you can see the 4070 Super, some of the GPUs that we've already gone through in the other builds. Look at the uplift here. Uh, RTX 4070 Ti Super, no slouch, 124 average FPS. The 7900 XT, again, $649 for 127 average FPS at 1440p. Again, this is a GPU that I use all the time in my build here. I run a whole recording studio off it and I game on it all the time. I absolutely love it. 
RTX 4080, not that much more of a kind of performance leap. That's why I haven't often recommended it. And the RX 7900 XTX for $850 right now, 150 average FPS at 1440p. Quick look at the 4K data. I'm not gonna go through all the numbers, but basically in this generation, we've seen that the RX 7000 series GPUs scale a little bit better as you go up in resolution than the RTX 4000 series GPUs. It was uh, kind of flipped in the previous generations, but this is the numbers you can expect uh, right now around 4K ultra details. Let's jump through the rest of the build. And honestly, the CPU you really wanna find, if you can find it, is the Ryzen 7800X 3D. Now you can get a 7600 and go that route instead, and you'll upgrade that CPU in the future if you can't find the CPU, because yes, it has been sold out everywhere, sold out everywhere, because Intel fell on their face with 13th and 14th gen, and honestly, same with Ryzen 9000. So everybody's been after the CPU and it's been sold out. Price has gone all the way up to $429 is about what you're gonna spend for it. The good news is, especially if you get the NVIDIA GPU, you do get the two free games with it. You do get two free games with it. Of course, if you get the AMD GPU at the same time, then it's the same game and it doesn't really help. But I will say, this is an insanely powerful CPU. And I know some people say, just wait for the 9800X3D. How much do you think they're gonna charge for that 9800X3D? And given the GPUs that we're looking at, you're probably only talking about a one to 3% difference. Get this, save the money and add it in your build instead. For the cooler, you certainly could go with more like a mid range kind of double tower air cooler instead for a little bit cheaper. But honestly, the Thermoid Aqua Elite V360, the V3 version rather, two thumbs up for $58. How do they do this? Now you'll note, I've gone with a kind of a white and black theme here. If you want to do all matte black, all these parts also come in black. So don't worry about that. In fact, some of them are a little bit cheaper if you do the, the black option here, but I always like to kind of mix it up for folks. We use this in our 9600X build guide. And honestly, the pump is dead silent. 360 is amazing. You can go 240 here. You don't need a 360 for a 7800X 3D. It's actually not that hard to cool but why not bling it up all the way for just $10 more? For the motherboard, you have a ton of options here. I just went with the MSI Mag B650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi for about $199. I believe this board will probably find its way back to $180, which I really love it at $180. I'm not sure why MSI raised the price on us recently after kind of dipping down. And I really, really hope it continues to sell it at, you know, $199 down to $180 out there. It's got Wi-Fi, it's got upgraded audio, ALC 4080 audio. Now, certainly you could go with the, the same motherboard we used in our Ryzen 7600 build guide or earlier in the video. Instead, if you want to save some money, you don't need the premium audio. I'm not a big fan of some of the X870 boards that just came out because of the USB 4 requirements, they actually have less M.2s on some of those boards. This has three M.2s. To me, just stick with B650, and this is the, one of the boards you'll want. For the RAM, DDR5 6000 CL30, I feel like a broken record. A broken record saying this, the Team Group T-Force Delta RGB kit continues to be the one that I recommend the most. It's got great price to performance, $94, $95 here. For the white RGB kit, also comes in black RGB, $95, insane value. For the drive, I went super simple. We went with the T-Force G52 terabyte. We decided to go two terabytes here. For $105, it's a great, kind of more budgetish option. Doesn't have DRAM on it, but I will say it's a great performer and tons of storage for your games. For the case, I went with the Lee and Lee Lankel 216 white version. There's also a black RGB version, and there's also a black non-RGB version. Right now with that, it says $10 promotional gift card. So buy this case first and you get, get the promotional gift card, then buy the rest of your parts, whatever else you need from Newegg because it's a $10 gift card from Newegg and that's how you get the discount basically. But I will say my absolute favorite case to build in, we did our Ryzen 9950X build guide video on this. I absolutely love this case. The top panel comes off, makes AIO installation an absolute breeze. The only thing I will say, it's got a 140 millimeter rear mounted fan here that's non-RGB. So if you want RGB, just make sure to replace that fan. But these 160 millimeter front facing fans, they spin nice and quietly and they move tons and tons of air because they're 160 millimeters. So overall for just about a hundred dollars, two thumbs up. For the PSU, we need about 850 watts. You could go with thousand here. I want 850 instead. Depends on the GPU that you're gonna get. If you went with like a higher end GPU like the RTX 4080 or the 7900 XTX, I would pop up to a thousand watt 
unit. I just had to go with the MSI Mag 850GL. Now they offer this in black as well. The white one's only a couple dollars more. The great news is it comes with white cables. That's what I'm really looking for here. Obviously you could go with the cable extension kit as well. $110 though for an AT rated PSU that's all white is two thumbs up. So overall for just under $1,750 US right now, you get probably one of the best gaming PCs on the planet. On the planet, in terms of 1440p or even 4K gaming, you're gonna get an insane value GPU on either a closeout deal or something like that. And hopefully you're able to track down that 7800X 3D, the fastest gaming CPU on the planet as I write this. And honestly, I don't expect the 9800X 3D to really have that much more performance with this level of GPU that we've got here. And this is gonna be a build that's gonna last you years and years. Let's go through some great gaming monitor deals at 4K and 1440p OLED. Let's start off with LCD 4K gaming monitors out there in terms of the budget ones. The MSI Mag 274 UPF is the cheapest 4K, 144 hertz ish. This one's obviously 160 hertz. Gaming panel out there, it's flat, it's IPS, it's got great motion handling. A lot of these use the same basic uh, panel on them, so the performance is not that different. It's kind of just the little details out there. This one's a 27 inch version. The 28 inch version, which I'll just show you in just a second, a little bit more, but 379, great value right now. And again, this one often goes on sale. The Gigabyte M28U right now for 399, it's obviously it's a 28 inch panel. It's a one inch diagonal bigger than the panel I just showed you. This also comes with the KVM switches. It comes with a really nice USB hub on it. And this is the monitor that I use all the time. In fact, we, we have three of these things. We absolutely love them. I can't strongly recommend this enough. $399 is an insane price. I think I paid $650 for most of ours. Uh, that was, you know, a year or more ago. But if you're looking to get into 4K gaming and you're looking for about this price point, this is one I would pick up. If you're looking for OLED gaming monitors, look, you have tons and tons of options out there. I'm just gonna throw a couple at you that are well-priced right now. But check the links down in the video description because I expect a huge price war over the holiday shopping season, especially on this th these third gen OLED panels, both in the... 1440p, 360 hertz, as well as the 4K, 240 hertz, which I'll show you in just a moment. This is a Gigabyte AORUS FO27Q3. This is one of the large crop of basically third gen OLED gaming panels. They're all 360 hertz, 1440p, 27 inch. These are all amazing. They are all amazing. I would avoid the MSI mag ones, however, because you cannot update the firmware without taking them to a service center on there. And they do need a firmware update, at least on the models that they've previously manufactured. I heard that they've fixed that in future models. However, right now I'm gonna recommend something like this for $749. I expect these bonners to go quite a bit lower, probably around that $699 price point. That being said, I'd snap this one up at 749. And if you missed our best 4K gaming monitor video, which I just put out, I just put out, I said that the AORUS FO32U2 gets my top pick right now in terms of price to performance for 4K 240 hertz. These are QD OLED panels. They're insanely good. They've got great USB hub to them overall. The only thing this is missing is the Dolby Vision. Now I know some of the Dolby Vision monitors out there, they're a little bit more expensive or they're curved panels, which I know not everybody's into. So if you're looking for the flat OLED and you're looking for the QD OLED, this is a really, really good pick at $9.99. Remember, everything is linked down in the video description, so check those out for current pricing and availability, especially with all the sales coming up. And we will modify those lists down there as things go on insane sale, either for Prime Day or early Black Friday sales. And of course, if you got value out of this video, please give it a like, it makes a huge difference to the channel. And of course, subscribe for more cool PC content. And we'll catch you on the next one.